God's story, Jacob wrestles. So part of God's story is about the time a guy named Jacob wrestled with a stranger. And it begins like this. Jacob grew up with a big, tough, hairy twin brother named Esau. Because Esau was the firstborn, he was supposed to get a special blessing. But Jacob was tricky, and with the help of his mom, wound up getting the blessing for himself. This made Esau furious, so Jacob ran away. A few years later, God told Jacob to return home, where Esau still lived. But Jacob was a little worried. He had heard that Esau was headed toward him with 400 men. Either Esau had a lot of friends, or he was bringing an army. So Jacob sent messengers ahead with gifts. Hopefully, if Esau was still angry with him, the gifts would calm him down. While Jacob was traveling, he stopped by a river. Now, God hadn't asked Jacob to stop. He stopped because he was afraid. He sent his family and servants and everything he owned across the river. Then he waited, alone, crying out to God in frustration. Jacob knew God had promised to be with him, but he was terrified. Suddenly, a man came into the camp out of nowhere and began to wrestle Jacob. Jacob fought back, and this was a knockdown, drag out title fight. All night, neither one of these fighters backed down. In fact, they wrestled for so long that the sun started to come up. When the stranger saw that Jacob wasn't going to give up, he touched Jacob's hip, and that simple touch pulled Jacob's hip out of socket, causing him to limp. Then the man said, let me go. But Jacob knew there was something special about this guy. So he said, I won't let you go unless you bless me. The stranger stopped fighting and gave Jacob a new name. He said, your name will no longer be Jacob. From now on, you will be called Israel because you fought with God and with men and have won. See, the name Israel actually means God fights. Kids, that means that Jacob had been wrestling all night with God. Anyway, right after that, the stranger did bless Jacob. But the best part is, Jacob knew he had seen God face to face, and that changed him. Not only did Jacob get a new name, but he was no longer a fearful man running away from his own brother. In fact, when the stranger left, Jacob looked up and saw Esau coming. This time, he ran to Esau, kissed him, and gave him gifts just because he loved him. Jacob realized that he could obey God no matter how scared he felt. He could trust that God would always keep his promises. And that's the story of Jacob wrestling with God. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God told Jacob to go home. That meant seeing his brother Esau. Jacob made camp near a river alone. He was terrified. A stranger came and wrestled him. They fought until dawn. The stranger touched Jacob's hip. The wrestling match was over. Jacob asked for a blessing. He got a new name first. It was Israel. The stranger was God. Jacob went to meet Esau. He trusted God. And that's a part of God's story. <laughs>